Okay, thanks for coming over to BridgeCable.com. Here today, uh, we have a couple of our tools and I'll just very fastly review this. We have our crimpers, we have a wire stripper, and uh, various personal tools that I myself or many of the bridge cable technicians will use. Um, little pliers if you need them, little screwdrivers if you need them, of course your Cat5 or Cat5E regardless. Uh, network head and then you of course you have low pliers uh, what we're gonna do is here is we're gonna install or attach the head to this beautiful mess so um, once again you can just use strippers and if you have any questions about our tools or anything like that just let us know right now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure to the stripper and voila oops that was a little slippy so, you just use a stripper, you take off the plastic housing, of course, and you're going to have your pair configuration. Now, I'm going to go a little bit slower for a tutorial's sake. Now, you have, obviously, you have eight wires here, and they're all paired, four pairs. Now, on our website here, we also have the pinout construction, or the pinout uh, layout. So, I'm going to put this right here, and everybody can work with me through this, and I'll go slow and hopefully I'll have no errors. That's always a good thing. So, what you wanna do here with the pinouts is, oranges, oranges are together, brown together, and then green and blue, they're a little bit separate. So you have the greens going out there, but blues are together. So if we were to hold the pinout connector, you have it right here, you have that little connection. Now, if you hold it with the connection down at the bottom, that's exactly how the pinout's going to be. So I'm just going to put this down here and oranges. Now, the greatest thing in the world is one or two people could still do this if they were colorblind. Perhaps slightly colorblind. But a lot of the cables that you'll find out there, especially if it's subgrade, you can tell very nicely these colors are very, very pronounced. We particularly use that because on the field we don't need a second guess. A lot of times with the cables, sometimes we'll just say, for example, this orange one. This is 100% through and through orange. And the one right next to it, it has an orange stripe or an orange vertical or horizontal orange going through it. Now a lot of the substandard sub cables, it gets confusing between the orange and the greens. And even if you're the, you have eyesight of a million dollars, you're, you're gonna have some difficulty. So every cable is a little bit different. If you're buying some stuff from overseas or just badly produced or cheaply produced wires, uh, you're gonna have some issues. Also look in as far as on the cabling. You're gonna have all your identification right here. Now, all this black stuff means something. Now, the biggest thing is, for us, when we're doing a huge network jobs, is the feet. So even right there, on the actual cable, you'll see two different feet measurements. So that's good if you're pulling out boxes and stuff like that, and if you know the run is about 200 feet. So, depending on the cable that you use on the job is very important. So, but we'll go into that a little bit later, but you definitely don't want to cheap out. This is your network. This is your meat and potatoes of your organization. You don't want to cheap out and you don't want to buy um, substandard cabling because it will bite you in the end. Now, a lot of times, even though people are not running Cat5E or that kind of bandwidth, we'll just throw in Cat5E automatically. Uh, now our lawyers will have field day with that, but we won't always do that, but a lot of times we'll find that the Cat5E cable is just uh, more or less with the Cat5 in the hands, uh, you can have future growth. So it's very important. Please do your due diligence and please get the right cabling if you're doing this yourself. We take care of that all at Bridge Cable. Orange. So we're going to go ahead and speed along. And we're just going to set it up like this, and you can do it at home. So we're going to take the orange with the stripe, orange, and then we're going to swing around to the greenish and green. Oops, see? 
That's why I have the pinout constructions. So we're gonna do orange stripe, orange solid, green stripe, and then we're gonna come down to the blue, blue pair or blue stripe, and then we're gonna go down to the green solid, and then we're gonna go down to the brown with stripe and brown. So you basically have that lined up. So you just want to double check your structures. I can all go like this and match them up. One, two, three, four. And if you're kind of do this for a living like we do, we kind of memorize this. So it's kind of a, you'll, you'll get the hang of it easy. But once again, on the FAQ sections, we do have a pair. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. And with practice, like anything, you'll have that. What you want to do is you want to straighten out the wires because they're a little kinky. And I generally bend them over my finger a little bit. And you want to smush them together. And it, it's going to take a little bit of practice, but don't worry about it. The great thing about network cable is they always give you a little bit extra. So just straighten it out a little bit. And as you'll see, I apologize for the shape of my hands. I don't use work gloves on site and we were at a major job and I cut up my hands a lot. Um, as you can see, they're all grouped together. You wanna to make sure they're flat. So it's flat against my finger. Many people have different techniques, but this is generally what I show the new guys. And you wanna make sure they're all flat. And you can work it out, move it back and forth, I'm applying a little bit of pressure, and then look at that. That's your pinouts right there, okay? So then we wanna basically just you want to take a look at this and you want to keep in mind this right here and if you can see that from the tutorial right you want to give yourself a quarter of an inch I would believe not that much but right where I have the connections right there you're gonna see right in here right where I'm pointing the wires there's a certain bridge so the basic way where we want to cut is right before the ends. So we're going to cut right here. And it's, it's, it's okay. You have a little room for margin. You want to cut these straight. You want to cut these straight. You don't want to have them on an angle or anything like that. But you want to make sure your, th your cut is good. Put your finger right here. Let them fly. My boss will yell at me for not cleaning up the office. And then you have them right there. I'm going to keep my finger right here. And apparently I'm getting a phone call. And we want to push it in right there. I'll pause for one second.